Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and today I was going to start this nifty painting, and when I, I opened my canvas, I looked, and I've got a hole. Do you see my finger right there? Let me zoom in. I found a hole in my canvas, you know? Now, sometimes that happens because, um, you know, maybe when the, you can see my little finger sticking up right there through the hole. See back here? Something, maybe a corner of something, it got leaned up against something in a corner. And so some, somebody would say, well, what do you do now? Do you throw this away? What happens? Now, I'm going to show you how to patch a hole. This could happen to a, 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 a canvas you've already painted on or one that you haven't, but let's just, uh, let's just fix it. So we're going to turn it over like this. And then what you need to have is another piece of canvas. Now, here's a roll of canvas. Now, I'm not suggesting you buy a roll. You can buy a little tiny one inch by one inch, uh, you know, canvas at the art store, these little tiny canvases. And then that are on a little frame, and then just cut cut out a piece because you don't probably need anything more than a you know maybe an in, in, no bigger than an inch and a half by I mean really you don't need anything very big at all probably that's just too big so I'm just see, see, I'm just cutting out a piece off this roll here like that okay and but again you could you just need a a, a little piece so you could find a small canvas at the art store a little tiny one about this size so okay so here I'm going to cut it like this and I'm going to say that this is the patch that I'm going to put over this hole so then what I'm going to get is some modeling paste like this and I'm going to just take a palette knife probably probably that would be the best thing to use I don't want to use my fingers so where's the palette knife here we go and I'm going to take a little palette knife and I'm going to just like you would glue anything I'm going to take a little palette knife and I'm going to put that on the back of this and then I'm going to just kind of go over the hole a little bit like that with a little bit of a patch. Now look, if you're intending to sell this painting um, later, probably people aren't going to appreciate a patch. But if it's a painting you've already done, okay, or that. And now we're just going to, you're going to leave that down, put the pressure on that down, and you're going to leave that for about 24 hours and let that dry, okay? Okay, so then that's got to be on the back. Then we're going to then we're going to go ahead. You see my my holes here. You can see where my hole is. I'm going to need a little modeling paste on the front of this too, and I'll and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But I'm going to have to let this other piece dry, and I'll probably put something heavy on it, like a little weight or something, or just make sure that this is nice and flat, and I've glued glued this down. Um, there, just like that. I guess I am going to use my fingers to make sure this is. I've really put some pressure on this. Got this down. Now this is just going to stay for 24 hours, and then when I when I come back, I'm going to show you what to do with uh, this side. Make sure you can still see it a little bit, but it'll be okay because we're we'll fill that in, and we should be okay. I don't think I want to do it now. Well, what would happen if we did it now? I, just because I know some of you guys are impatient. So you don't want to wait 24 hours. All right, so ideally wait 24 hours, but we might put a little modeling paste right over the patch, too, like that, where the hole is, and just smooth that out. Okay? There, just like that. Now, if this was a painting after this dried, you would have to go replace the colors in the painting. Okay? Like that. But this is this is pretty good. This this hole will not show up now. And there we go. Just just something like that and then then we'll sand it when it dries and that's how you're going to fix that so here's our modeling thing I think I'll leave it upside down make sure this is like that I'm going to just go away now and leave this alone and I will show you the results and sand it and let you see and then we'll I'll paint over a section of this so you can see that you don't see the hole anymore okay good to know how to fix a hole in a canvas Okay, so here's the dried patch right here. This is, you can see how it's all dried. Okay, now I, I'm not going to do anything with this. I suppose I could sand this a little bit, but there's really no need. I mean, this is just be the back of your canvas. Now look how, here it is in front. Here's where I want to sand a little bit, right here, some lightweight sandpaper. I'm just going to sand that down until it's smooth. And my hole's fixed. See that? It's just totally fixed. And let me put a little paint over it and show you what I mean. I'll just uh, I'll put a little tiny bit of paint, and you can see 
um, how nicely it's fixed. Let's take a little bit of a brown. I might use a brown color here. Let's find a brown and I'll put a little bit of brown paint over where my hole was so you can kind of see it right here like that. There's there's where my hole was. Now there's a little tiny indentation in here slightly and what you could do alright if you have that and you've sanded it down and you still see a little bit of a hole like that. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Okay, so if you still see it, here it is. You can still see that. Let me just, uh, I think if you painted the picture, you'd never see it. If you did acrylic heavy texture on it, you'd never see it. But let's just say you're particular and you cared about it. So like right in here, you see, you can kind of, you can see a little bit of where my hole is, right like that. What you would do is you would take then just going to pull this paint up so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see a little bit of that. See that? Just a little tiny bit. You take a little bit more of the modeling paste and just do it again. Do one more time. Just take a little palette knife and fill that in. This is no different than spackling a wall um, and then sanding it off and smoothing it. So here's a little more of the modeling paste like this. And I will just smooth this out like that. Make sure I've filled in the hole like that. A little bit like that. I'll just smooth it out like this and then kind of thin it out at the edges. Okay, now I'd let this dry one more time and this will be perfectly smooth. So if, again, if you didn't think that that was quite perfect enough, you could certainly do that and, and just let it, um, you can kind of see it with the color now. You can just see that that's smooth and here's what it looks like on the back. All right. So basically it's very simple to fill a hole and if this were a painting and you were going to fill, fill it then you would, and this was a colored surface, then you would still have to do maybe just a smaller area. Now I see where a little bit of this is bleeding through here. So I'm going to just do this like this. Make sure that I have the top of that very smooth like that. Then I would sand this down and I promise you, you'd never see anything. So that's how you fix a hole in a canvas. And somebody's going to say, well, what about, I know you're going to ask me, well, if it's painted on already, then you would just approach it slightly differently. If you've got a hole, say, in a paint canvas where you, you were kind of, see if I can find one here real quick. I'm going to just, let's make a hole and I'll show you what we're going to do, okay? Pause this. Okay, let's take a canvas like this. Uh, this is sort of a, you know, an old canvas that I'm in the process of playing with, okay? And um, let's just make a hole in it with some scissors. Shall we do that? And just, you're going to look shocked. Oh my gosh, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? And I'm going, yeah, because I mean, this is what hap I promise you, this is what happens to people. They, they get going along here. Should I take scissors? And maybe I'll make it with something sharp. I know I think I'm going to take scissors. Boy, where did my scissors go? I just start these great demonstrations. And now I'm looking for my scissors. Ah, here they are. Okay, so I'm just going to take some scissors because the biggest thing that happens to canvases, you'll see this, gunshots, <laughs> tell me, gunshots are hole, but let's just, it's hard to poke a hole in a canvas. All right, here's, a, here's my hole. See, I've just poked a hole in this canvas like that. There you go, a little bit here. Okay, there it is. There's my hole. So now here it is on this side, right, in this water here. So what are we going to do? So we're going to do the same thing. There's a couple of things we can do. We can do, and I'm going to show you just a little bit differently. This was a modeling paste. Now I'm going to show you heavy gloss gel. This is another way to do this. We don't have any modeling paste. So this is another one we can do. We can use heavy gloss gel. And I'm going to take take some, you know, this is just heavy, heavy gel like this. I'm going to use that as a glue on this side of my hole. Come up this way and use this. Because this, I'm telling you, this stuff all works like a glue modeling paste, heavy gloss gel, and probably have some of this somewhere. Somebody's going to ask me and write, you know, there's whole articles on doing restoration, and you know, and I'm certainly not claiming to be a restoration expert, but this will work. All right, so here's my little piece of canvas like that, and I'm going to make sure I've got this all over the back of this too, like that. Now I'm going to just put that on there. There's a little patch. Again, it's not it's not pretty. Now, could I put some gel over the top of this, too? I could. I could put some gel over the top of my patch, too. So 
Um, so I wanted to be just, maybe you just didn't want it to show that much. Um, let me just put some gel all over the top of that patch. You'd, I didn't do it on the other side, but I mean, you could, be, you could do that. Let's, let's just do that for a minute. Okay, so there's the gel on the top of this. Whoops. <coughs> so you don't even see the, you don't even see the little bit of canvas. Okay. <coughs> there. Okay. Now. I want to smooth that out a little bit. So what can I do with that? Hang on a second. Okay, I'm going to get a little brush, a little damp brush. Might just take a brush and smooth this over the top like that too. Just smooth this out on the edges. So there you go. There's the gel kind of covering the back of this. You could probably do two coats too, but let's just smooth it out. Okay, so there's the gel on the back of that. Now, <coughs> like I say, you can still smooth that out. Now, what about this side? Well, see, that made it, a, you see, you barely see that now here. The, the hole sort of filled up here, and you're barely going to see it now because there's this painting here. So then what I would do is I would just I would dry this. I'm going to take the hair dryer real quick and just dry the top part of this. I'm not going to put anything on the front. All right, you see that? I'm going to pause and dry this. Now it's not dry on the back. I just it's still wet on the back, but I just took the hair dryer and dried it right here. And if I was very careful, I might be able to just take a little paint and just show you. Take a little white paint, and that's sort of a phthalo blue and white uh, color right there on that picture and it's older so let's just see what we can do with it. Uh, I would I would suggest you really let it dry completely but I just want you to see how you might fix this. So let's find this let's find our phthalo blue and <clears throat> I think there's a little tiny bit of yellow in that color. Let's see how close I can get to it. Alright now what I'm going to do You've got to be able to match colors. This is one of the secrets. And remember, acrylics dry darker. So let's take a little bit of white, a little tiny bit of blue, a little tiny bit of yellow, more white, a little more blue. I think that's pretty close to my color right there. Let's just hold it up and see, is it? A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue here. A little tiny bit more blue. Might as well get it over that spot there too, okay? Alright, I think that got a little green on me, so let's put a little more blue. And I think that you wouldn't see it. Alright, you can kind of see how I've sort of painted over that, that spot, and I don't think you'd see it. And now you could, for instance, even add a little gel to your blue. Now that's something that you didn't, you may not have thought about too, but you can color this little spot here with a little bit of gel and add a little bit of color to the gel if this was a painted surface like this and blend that in. And let's just, just gels dry clear, okay, just remember that. Your gel's going to dry clear, but it can take color. So. What you can do is you can just take a little bit of this color here. Let's just blend this all out like this. Okay. And let's get some of this lighter color up here. And, and look, I can make this go away. This little hole that I did in this canvas, it's gone. You'd have to really look for it to find it. All right. You'd have to, again, I would say, you know, dry it first, but this is what you could do. And again, it, you can take a little bit of um, if, if, if you see any of that, just put a little gel on top with the color, fairly gently, just put over that, and you're fine. And that hole's gone. So it's, just because there's a hole in a canvas doesn't mean it's gone. Though at this point, really, you're not going to sell this with this patch on the back. This would be something you, you know, you'd keep for you once you have a hole in it. It's not, you know, I mean, I wouldn't sell a painting with a, with a hole in the canvas, but I just. Um, and, uh, but I wanted you to see how you would patch it because maybe it's a picture you like or maybe one you've had. 
I had a friend that did restoration for the for the U.S. military. She got good at this with oil paints and with acrylics, and they paid her to when they when people moved to you know to fix holes. And sometimes something will painting will line, lean up against a sharp object, and then um, uh, it, it'll get a, a, a hole in it. Or again, we're talking about in her case the military gunshots, whatever. But you know, bullet hole in it. So some reason why there's a hole. And this is how you might go uh, go go about patching it. So here from this side, and I think we did pretty well with that. I'm just going to come up here close, and you can kind of see it. You can see it a little bit, but it's not bad. And as this gel dries, then that's the point. As the gel dries, you can do another layer if you want to. Just let it dry 24 hours and, and do another layer of gel, like right in here. You can just barely touch it. Add another little thick layer of gel. Dry it in between layers. Let it skin over. Because the, whatever I'm putting on here now will dry clear, because gel is clear. <clears throat> so that's that's one way to to patch a hole. And of course, this would be most paintings wouldn't have such a a variety of colors that you were trying to match. But that's okay. You should just be able to match the colors and go ahead and and paint it, and you should be okay to be able to fix that. So right, that's that's how you would do a hole. This is what it looks like. This is how you just and you saw how we would do the regular canvas. So the goal being, you guys, you know, the goal being is uh, don't don't poke holes in your canvas. That would be the best. So, you know, you want to, you see, this is going to dry and I'll sand this smooth. So, again, you've got the option of, you know, smoothing it out or uh, painting over it, depending on what you want to do. You can kind of see, you barely see this little hole there. And I think with all the texture, and remember, acrylic paints have nice texture. I don't think people would, would, would see it. <clears throat> so, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed some of that, check out some of our other instructional videos. Check out our, my website, gingercooklive.gallery, where we have over 180 lessons. No kidding. It gets a better value every month. 180 lessons that you can watch. Um, it, it comes with a personal art coach for as low as 19 95 a month if you're a senior or a military vet, and 24.95 otherwise. And we've got uh, specials too on our website, so check us out and individual downloads. So thanks for watching. Likes and comments are appreciated, and I hope this was a useful lesson on YouTube how to fix a hole in a canvas.